that was the very first video that I uploaded to YouTube three years ago. Today, it's my YouTube anniversary. You guys hear that? It's for the bird. It's peaceful, right? Quiet, which I like. I don't want to make a big deal about it just because who really cares, but I do want, do want to acknowledge uh, three years on YouTube because uh, it's a journey, let me tell you. And uh, if you're on YouTube also, you know how much work it is and just like the grind of just making videos. And uh, if you're making videos out there, Congrats, because uh, it's a lot of work. You know, people that aren't on YouTube and that don't make videos, I don't think realize how much work it is because, uh, you know, we wear many different hats. Pre-production, production, post-production, post you know, lighting, editing, sound, marketing, all this stuff, all these hats go into this kind of one role YouTuber, a term that I actually don't like because I just, makes us sound like children, which we're not. We're not children. Yeah, I just kind of want to acknowledge, like, I guess the journey. And uh, it's gonna be quick. It's gonna be quick and painless. Trust me, quick and painless. Quick and painless. The Lone Walker. Funny thing is that I got actually more nervous to talk in front of the camera when there's one person. I'm actually, like, less awkward when there's more people for some reason. It's a weird thing, but if there's one person here, I'm like, I can't vlog. But if there's, like, 20, I can do it. It's a weird... I'm weird, I'm weird, let me tell you, I'm weird. But here's a convenient seat. Let's talk. So three years ago today, I uploaded my first video. I actually used a Nikon, and I'm not like a gear guy, but if you want to do video, don't use Nikon. Sorry Nikon, just get better video cameras. There's someone else coming, so I gotta stop, because i got two dogs with her too. Here she comes. Here she goes. Friendly dog, at least. Like, my channel's not a gear channel, as you guys know. And, you know, gear's not going to give you ideas for videos. It's not going to make you leave the house. It's not going to make you want to edit when you don't feel like editing. Like, gear is a tool, but really you have to rely on yourself to just make the videos and just do, like, the like the grind of just making the video. I'll backtrack a little bit, because I needed a better camera to do video, so that's why I got this uh, Lumix GH7. And it's not the fanciest camera. It's not the most expensive camera. But it's a camera that works. I mean, this camera has almost pumped out 300 videos. Like, this time last year, I was uh, trying to do 150 videos. And now I think I'm at like 260 or something. And then I thought, well, can I make 300 videos by, by, the, by the end of this year? And that's a little bit ambitious, even for me. I think I got bit by a mosquito bite. I don't know. My neck is itchy. When I first joined Get Out Shoot back in 2017, like, later on that year, I thought, wouldn't it be cool if someone just did like videos of like our meetups to show people that, you know, we're not snobs and we're actually cool people to hang out with. I guess 2018, I took a course at the Toronto School of Art, just like a crash course, like the fundamentals of like video editing. And that kind of got me started to actually make videos. I did a few uh, meetup vlogs. I took, I did a vlog in Iceland. Arrived safely in Reykjavik, currently at the Harper Conference Center, waiting to check into Airbnb. You can see Alfred shooting. And then from there, 8 a.m., I'm gonna photograph the Samuel Becker Bridge. Let's go. I thought, well, can I do like weekly vi videos of like these meetups? And that was my challenge to do a video every week, kind of hit the bell every week with a video. And that was a challenge in 2019. So I bought this GH7 and uh, off we went. 2019 started to do weekly videos of the meetups, which went well. So a pretty exciting day here at the Get Out and Shoot Toronto meetup. First one of 2019. Went to England. And it's super awkward walking around talking to a camera, but I think I could do it. In Italy that year too. Welcome to Rome. Welcome to Rome. And then came back, just kept making videos of whatever we're doing with the group. And, 20, and then 2020, we all know what happened there. And, um, yeah, I think during like 2020, it was really challenging for me to like make stuff because you couldn't go anywhere. So like, what am I gonna do? I was doing videos about toilet paper. This is the video that you think to yourself, Paul's gone nuts, he's officially lost it, and that may or may not be true. But sometimes you gotta do it just to like keep the keep the discipline of making of making something because if you don't make something for a long period of time, it's hard to get that get that muscle memory back. What was that sense of accomplishment when you? make the video because you've kind of overcome all of the reasons why you shouldn't. Like there's a million reasons why you shouldn't make something. You just gotta find the reason to make something. And there's always, to me anyway, when I, whenever I upload a video, there's always that sense of accomplishment. 
that's a really good feeling and that's kind of what keeps me going to make other stuff so hopefully that makes sense it's a really nice day also by the way it's almost october i actually don't like calling my own stuff bad it just like that's your skill level right like the videos i make a year from now should be better than the videos i make this year everyone starts at zero and it just depends on how much work you want to put in to get better anyway i hope you're enjoying the uh I hope you're enjoying the Halloween series. It's a lot of fun to do. And like what I've done this year to just try to kind of up myself on another level with doing the Why We YouTube series and doing the Oakville Spotlight. Just trying to get more of a documentary feel to my channel. And that's also what I'm trying to do with, like, that's also what I'm trying to do with like the Halloween workshops is just to kind of make you feel like you're there. Actually today, we're going to go to Scottsdale Farm. So stay tuned for that one coming up. It's kind of what I want to do more of in the future of um, just doing more of behind the scenes because there's so many companies and sports teams and everything else like just doing like documentary work about like whatever's going on with like the team or the company or whatever and I think that's super cool to to document so hopefully I can get there one day so we'll see what happens with that but you know baby steps just keep putting the work in and uh, have fun which is the most important thing is to have fun or else what is the point of all this craziness when I'm talking to a camera in the middle of a park and there's people probably staring at me like, is this person okay? If you haven't subscribed to this channel, I know it's a little bit all over the place, documentaries, vlogs, photography, but if you're into any of it, subscribe, it helps. Like, comment, and uh, I guess we'll see you in the Scottsdale vlog, probably next, next week coming out. Big thank you to Laura and Brian for crushing it. Uh, we'll see you there, and uh, another year of YouTube. Let's go, peace.